So I'm on a metal roof with my wife. We are on a metal roof and, well, not a metal roof. No, this is a trailer park, trailer room, a trailer roof. We've never worked on a trailer roof. Look at it. This is a trailer. Is that? And then it has a bump up here and a, the trailer continues here. Somehow this got started leaking because people walk on here and it's very soft and uh, I hate this. I've never seen something like this. You can tell there's a beam here. I don't know if I can step in the middle without falling through. This is really, really dicey. But I, we're going to fix this leak now. And there's a lot of ways to do it, but I'm going to show you the way I'm going to fix this particular roof in this area. Okay, that's what we're going to do. All right, here we go. I want to try and level this off a little bit. Make a, take a, put something in here and level it off. All right, I'm going to cut this and then just put this as a, a filler. I can do this. Nice. See the transition? With the red, with the red. I cannot put my membrane over this. This is not going to work. This is uh, all kinds of tar and I don't know what people have done. So I've got to clean the edge where I'm going to attach my membrane. So if I can attach my membrane around the edge, that's what I need to prepare now. So I'm going to prepare that now. See the metal there? There's some metal there. I can attach to that metal. So I gotta clean this entire edge. I need at least four inches of metal. So, okay, here we go. See, people use caulking, try to fix this. It. It's impossible. You cannot fix it like that. So there's the caulking. There's so much junk and layers of stuff. I try to get it off because I need to get to the metal. So. That's the key here to get to the metal so I can do a transition. And you can see all the metal, there's the metal. Very thin metal, but I need to attach my, attach the membrane to the metal. Pull the plastic out of it. And that's called the peeler stick. Now, the normal. Now I'm going to show you my secret trick of 40 years. Of 40 years of roofing. Very few people know this trick. If you know this trick, you can save any roof. All right, let me show you. I got uh, my secret. This is my, all right, this stuff. I cannot do a roof without it. So let me show you. I use a modified bitumen adhesive and I use that to attach I travels hot. I use that to attach the torch down to metal. Very, very, very super important. Just like that. 
if you you cannot torch to metal it will come loose over a few years it will come loose a lot of people like to nail down there's nothing to nail down to you here's the secret you get yourself modified by tumen 81 look it says adhesive in the bottom now you can get it in uh what's this this is chronic 81 see there 81 you can get it in uh, 66 chronic 66 as well but there's no other product that'll work you can try henry it will not work you can try bulldog it will not work any other brand doesn't work as well as this you have to get the Karnak to be able to do this. If you if you do it this way, you'll never it will never fail. I put a nice thick coat. Look at that. So in the same time, they don't pass the water down because they cover. Yeah, it covers. The water cannot get in. Okay. All right. So this is what you do. I fix any. Uh, they call me a hack, okay? Hey, I've seen people in the comments call me a hack. Uh, how else are you going to do this in, uh, except for ripping this whole roof off and redoing it? How else are you going to do it? People don't have the money. So, okay, I'm a hack. I'm a good hack, too. I'm a professional hack, okay? So you do the same here. You, you make sure you get to the metal. All right, I've been doing it for 40 years. It never fails. No, wind cannot lift it up. Wind cannot get underneath it. All right, all right, there we go. So now the plastic, I don't really melt this. I just burn this plastic off, look. See the plastic is burned and it will stick. I melt this slightly, you see there? Look, it's melted. Look, just like that, a little bit, not too much. Now, this trowel is dirty. Okay, I got it. Look at it. See there? Look at that. It will never come up again. It will cure. Just make sure all the air is out. You see that? Look at that. Beautiful. Nice. That's it. Beautiful. All right. I did a trailer roof. This is what it looks like. I made the transition at the down end of this to the other transition to a roof on the metal. And I covered everything. And this is built up here where the where the low end was here was low. So no more leaks. Nothing, 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 nothing. Alright. Let me show you something. Uh sweetheart, where's the EPDM? The paper? Hmm. Like a black one. Yeah. Alright. Sweetheart, come and make a video. Come here. Come here. I wanna show the people something. If you have a trailer roof like this, you see, it's about, how wide is this? One, two, three, four, 12 feet. 
If you have a trailer roof like this, looks like they are 12 feet wide. I almost think this is the best way to go. It's EPDM, look, it stretches like this, see? See it stretch? And what you do is you buy a 12 foot wide EPDM, a full roll. And you roll it over your, your um, I don't have a straight edge here, let me see. You roll it out over the roof and all you do is on the edge here, if you, if you roll it out all the way, you come over like this and you nail, screw down a, a bar, it's called a, um, a termination bar. You screw it down here to hold this down and you stretch it to the other side and you do the same and your roof is done. You never have to do a roof again. Just use EPDM, roll it all the way out and then screw it down with the termination bar on the side and you're done. It's like a tarp, but just much better. It will last 15 years, all right? Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you. I hope I have earned your subscription and thumbs. And if you wish, thank you. 